Among the 13 people killed in the Oklahoma twister were three men deeply involved in tornado research. ABC's Ginger Z reports on the storm chasers who knew the risks. The tornadoes moved in quickly, the second time in two weeks, and they were deadly. The interstates packed with terrified families, drivers trying to escape before the tornadoes hit. They had just survived the tornado the week before. The mother and child killed, pulled from their car by the twister. And we have learned of three more lives lost. Three veteran storm chasers now among the dead. Tim Samaris, his son Paul, and their colleague Carl Young, all trying to document the storm. Tim was found seat belted in his car. The others pulled from the car by the tornado. One was found a half mile away. Time 745, snail deployed, large tornado. Tim, who led the team, was an esteemed scientist. In the storm chasing community, he was known not only as one of the best, but as one of the most cautious. He would show genuine concern uh, of our safety going in. And, um, you know, we lost someone that probably has already saved countless lives with his research. He chased because he wanted to learn, to improve warning systems and help meteorologists better forecast tornadoes in the future. Just this past year, we documented one of his scientific expeditions, Tim and his son taking us along. One of their many goodbyes to his wife, Kathy. Right, See you later. Have a good trip. Yep. Much of his recent research funded by National Geographic. In a statement, they said, we are shocked and deeply saddened. He was a courageous and brilliant scientist who fearlessly pursued tornadoes and lightning in an effort to better understand these phenomena. On our trip, Samara showed me his baby, the Kahuna, what could be the fastest camera in the world. Actually, 82 cameras in one. It helped him firsthand studying the birth of a lightning strike. Our journey took us 800 miles in four states, but he also knew the real dangers of doing this. At times, I have mixed feelings about chasing these storms. On one hand, they are incredibly beautiful. On the other hand, these powerful storms can create devastating damage that change people's lives forever. At the end of our chase, Tim told me it was his desire to know more, to inform us all, that fueled him to go out again. I don't know how many storms I've seen in my lifetime, but every single one of them, I still get pretty excited. The little boy in me just wants to come out here and just watch and stare. I know that he will be remembered as a great man, a wonderful husband, a scientist, and father. We hope that his research will live on forever and others will pick it up and we can keep learning more. Ginger Z, ABC News, El Reno, Oklahoma. Mm. It's such a sad story, such a loss. And there's a picture on Twitter and Facebook that's getting a lot of play. We want to show it to you. Take a look at this. The Storm Chaser community went out and lined themselves up to form the initials of Tim Samaras, Paul Samaras, and Carl Young. Ugh. And they formed those initials, that great tribute there from the tight-knit community of those storm chasers. They all know each other uh, yeah. in the Oklahoma area. Yeah, and it really is a, a touching tribute. Ginger knew them. Ginger worked with yep. them. She's also talked about how special they were. And uh, Tim's brother, Jim, also gave a statement. And he essentially said that they all, unfortunately, passed away doing what they loved, yep. chasing tornadoes. Mm -hmm. And now he says he looks at that as the big tornado in the sky when he thinks about his brother, his nephew, and the colleague that they yeah, worked yeah. so tightly with trying to do this research. He was a real pro. This wasn't some guy who was just half cocked running out That's after right. her, they uh, all tornadoes. Were. He was a real authority on it. They were meteorologists, they were scientists, yeah. he was an engineer. They knew what they were doing, they really did. It's just that when you think about the dangers that they put of themselves course. in, they of were course. passionate about it. They wanted to bring the research back home so yeah. that we could learn about these tornadoes. No doubt.